And this is when Joel knew he messed up. Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're at Spring Sushi, which is an all-you-can-eat sushi place in Hamilton, Ontario. There's also one in Toronto. So today what we're gonna do, we're gonna go eat. Um, it is officially supper time, it's like five o'clock, so I believe the price is about $32. A little price here, but we'll incorporate that into review after we do. So let's go on in and eat some sushi. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. And well, before I get into it, let's just say things right from the get-go started to seem a little fishy. So here we are at what unfortunately has to be the most disappointing sushi restaurant I have been to that I have actively reviewed so far. So it all started at the beginning. Items looked reasonable. I definitely would not say exceptional, but they had pretty good reviews so I had high hopes. The first taste of certain items, such as the salmon, it just didn't have its normal flair. It didn't taste bad, but it tasted just so mediocre, like subpar, four out of 10. When you saw me getting into some of the faces though is when I started to explore some of the other items. So some items were absolutely okay. This was some sort of a black dragon roll which I had at a restaurant that I previously reviewed and it was excellent. And these were little square pressed sushi rolls which also were pretty good. However, as they started to bring more items like this little smoked salmon roll, well, Let's just say the tastes were just wrong. Like, I, 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 the best way I can describe it was just, it didn't taste like sushi. It didn't taste fresh. It didn't taste, you know, floral. Like, I have the wasabi, I have all these notes. It should taste fresh, floral, extravagant. And while I hate to say it, but things only got worse. At this point, we weren't even just talking about items which just tasted not great or, you know, not floral, not fresh. Coming into these sushi rolls, things just kind of tasted off. And when I got to this red tuna, which I normally love, I just couldn't figure out what the taste was. I tr even tried tasting a, or taking a drink of water just to try to clear it, but really... It had this metallic taste, like you're even going to see me try to smell the plate. I was trying to figure out if it was the plate that was making it taste like that. It just tasted so displeasant. The unfortunate thing is that at these restaurants though, these a la carte slash per order all you can eat sushi places, is you have to pay for any item you don't eat. So every item that I ordered, I had to eat, otherwise I would be charged for it. And trust me, I didn't get it on video, but I did actually mention to a manager, I, the he was going by and I stopped him and I said, excuse me, this red tuna tastes horrible. Like horrible. To which he said, I don't think he really cared, but he said, okay, I'll go look into it. He didn't seem very sincere on it. Um, which, I mean, I kind of talk about the atmosphere of the restaurant later, which maybe kind of explains it. Again, so these are those the little black dragon rolls or whatever I had earlier. Like, they tasted okay. And if you don't know me, I don't waste food. I can't eat items I don't enjoy. And when I'm coming to a place which is going to cost me 40 plus dollars after tax and tip, I just want to get my money's worth. So I started exploring the menu, because a lot of the items that I normally liked, such as my spicy salmon rolls, which I just tried right now, it just didn't taste that great. Again, just really unfresh. I even tried ordering the red tuna in 
the sushi, or sorry, in the maki roll rather than the sushi roll to see if it was any better. Which is what I am going to try right now for you. And let's just say it was no better. The red tuna, whether in the singular sushi roll or in the maki roll, just had this metallic weird taste. But I ordered it, I had to eat it. And again, I did voice my concern to the management of the restaurant. So it was not just a server, it was officially the management. And again, all they really said was, oh, sorry, I'll look into it. However, again, I ordered the tuna again afterwards and it did not change. So something was going on with it. It tasted like, I don't know, imagine sucking on pennies or like some like change. You know, like, I don't know, just metallic-y. So again, I'm just trying to get my money's worth. I'm just trying to eat some food. So I start ordering the kind of more cooked items, which I don't normally order. Um, these were little spare ribs. They were fine. Uh, nothing exceptional. But again, it was okay. You know, I'm stuck paying $40 at this point. There was a bacon wrapped asparagus. It was okay. These pieces of sashimi, which were salmon and white tuna, they tasted not bad. Like, I mean, once I had the red tuna, everything comparatively tasted pretty good but again very very lackluster in the salmon and the white tuna and everything again especially after one of my most recent uh, sushi experiences being wind in niagara falls which i really would say again and they did not sponsor me they're not paying for me etc cetera, etc cetera. i paid out of my own money that was equally or maybe even more expensive but it was well worth it and this experience so far was definitely not worth it. Again, just trying to explore that menu, find something which is okay. Again, these items with all the sauces on them, they kind of seem to be the best tasting ones. But it was not, let's say, for the right reasons. They taste okay because they're just smothered in sauce and some of the items in them are deep fried or cooked or whatever it may be. Um, looks of the food again it was fine presentation was fine i'm not a picky person so like i never usually comment on the rice of a sushi restaurant but you could tell like this rice was it just seemed really odd it doesn't look like the majority of the rice that i get at sushi places so whether i'm just used to getting non-sushi rice at other places or getting non-sushi rice here it was just different um, again, going through the menu, it was an iPad menu system, so it was pretty cool. Uh, it definitely wasn't bad. Um, I did find, however, the options very limited. For a supper, um, so usually the sushi restaurants have a lunch menu and then a dinner menu. Lunch menu, generally at these places, I believe at this location was about $22, $23. And then dinner was about $10 more, at about $32.99 or something like that, $32. Um, but I did find that the dinner menu, comparatively to other places that I've been to for dinner, it was extremely limited. In fact, with the exception of the few sashimi items that they offered, which really I think they only had maybe snapper, crab, red tuna, white tuna, salmon. So maybe only like five options, maybe a beef option. Uh, yeah, they had a beef option as well, which I also tried, wasn't that great. Um, it was just like a, a, a lunch menu. It was very, very limited. So. I wasn't overly impressed by that. Again, I was just trying to find other things to fill up on. Here I'm going for some deep fried bananas, and they tasted good. I mean, it's generally hard to go wrong with desserts, so, you know, I figured, what could go wrong? And while I remember that tuna earlier, metallic and cleaner, like a cleaning chemical, that's what it tasted like. That's probably the best and most accurate representation I can verbally give to you. Cleaner and metal. I then found this Malona bar, which I was very, very thankful for, and I'll talk about it here very briefly. But damn, this thing is good. It was by far, and unfortunately, the best thing I had at this restaurant in my experience on that day.
yeah, so we're here. Spring Sushi, it's a very interesting looking spot. Like, look at the decor. Like, it's kind of all purpley. I mean, in all reality, the only other building that I've been to that really resembles this place is like a nightclub. It's kind of a weird setup. It seems very, very, I don't know if it's, oh, I know there's one other location at least, but it seems like this is like very chain-like. That's kind of the way I describe it. So it looks like a nightclub. It very much seems like a chain restaurant, if that makes sense. There's not really much of a small place, personal acquaintance kind of thing. So yeah, but these Molina bars or whatever, this is freaking delicious. It's coconut, love coconut. I'm gonna see if I can get another one. It says one per order, but I'm gonna try. Like this is really good. So yeah. We'll see what happens. And so worked our magic. We're able to get another Malona, I think it's called Malona. You know, one of these popsicles. It's like um, so the main ingredients were like water and coconut milk. It's very creamy, but it's not like a, it's not like an ice cream. At least this one isn't. But very coconutty, like very nice coconut base. I used to buy popsicles like this um, in like a coconut, like their main ingredient was like coconut milk or coconut whatever. They used to have flakes in them. This one doesn't have flakes in them, but but it tastes like coconut. Thirty-six bucks. So here we are on what they refer to as the mountain in Hamilton. So we're elevated on an escarpment and there's all of Hamilton down here. In fact, you can actually see Toronto. Let's see if you can see it. I can see Toronto. All right, so this, oh, hold on. Oh, okay. Those buildings right there. See above that ship, there's like kind of a mystical cloud of buildings all right there. That's Toronto. That's the Queen's Way. So yeah, so kind of cool. And uh, definitely, definitely quite a view up here. Very pleasant. Here at my convocation, we're about to go across the stage. Well, in a minute, gotta like line up all those logistics. Got my Got my gown on, it's like a trench coat. I'm here with my parents, Joan and Steen, so huge thanks to them coming out, support me at my master's convocation, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna see what we can do. I'm not supposed to have a camera, at least like during the thing on stage, but I'm gonna try to capture some excitement, so we'll see what happens. Joel and Hanson. Yay, Joel! <laughs> Here we go. In this little folder is a piece of paper which I paid well in excess of $40,000 for. So here we go. They have a little reception here. Just hanging out, get some pictures and stuff over there. Big lineups, a one right there as well. So, so here at the University of Guelph, their like emblem animal is a griffin. And they have this massive like statue griffin here. So you can always just like hop up and ride a griffin. That sounds like a good idea. And here we are, riding a griffin. All right. <laughs> there. Watch it there. Always be careful. Be careful. <laughs> 